played. I've had I've had an okay career. I'm still not done. I still got two more years left, so it's just halfway halfway done. But you know, I see a lot for me in the future. There's a lot. I mean, obviously, since you've been here, the team's taken an upward tick. Uh, do you feel like the team has progressed nicely? I mean, Coach said he's a little actually ahead of where he thought it would be when he took over the job. Um, yeah, I think so. Uh, I think right now we got the guys in place to where we can really do something special in this conference. Uh, I mean, defensively, we're too deep finally. Uh, and we feel like we got some guys that we can throw at you on defense. And offensively, uh, Bo and Quan and Quincy and Vince and Evan, you know, the list goes on and on, and Jalen and I tell you, so we got people that we can throw at you, score points on offense. What did you learn about expectations last year? This time last year, you know, after the seven win season, a lot were thinking, hey, maybe this team can win nine, ten. Right. It didn't quite get to that, but what did y'all kind of learn from what you experienced last year? Because the uh, expectations are obviously uh, there. Just again. growing pains. Uh, you know, we lost, really, we were in all the games. Uh, really, Bama game was the only one that really probably got out of hand. Auburn game, we should have won. Uh, A&M game, we should have won. So. You know, uh, Mississippi State game, should have won that one. So, you know, I mean, we're right there. So, uh, to experience that and to come back this year with that on our minds is definitely going to help. What's it going to take to get over the hump? What's it going to take to get over the hump of games I, like I, that? I think it's going to take more focus. Uh, I think defensively we're going to have to uh, really start buckling down. Uh, I feel like this year defensively that we can go out and we can, we can put up some really good numbers on people. How frustrating was it for you last year to A, not be healthy and then ultimately have to get shut down and have to watch some of those games? Uh, it was tough, but, uh, you know, uh, part of it is, you know, having to bounce back and uh, being able to be on the sideline and kind of help guide my teammates. Uh, I think I had to change roles, so to have another role on the team, it just helped me better my relationship with some of the other guys. Which of the freshmen have jumped out to you in all season workouts? Uh, there's a bunch of them that really stick out, but... Uh, uh, Breland, he moves pretty well. Uh, still got to get his weight down. He's a little bit overweight right now. He's a little bit over 300. Uh, Jeremy McDowell is pretty raw. He's, he's, he's going to be a pretty good player for us. Uh, Sammy Epps looks really good. You know, there's, there's a bunch of those guys that just come in. The, uh, Alvin, Calvin, the twins, they look really, really good. So, you know, we got we got a pretty good bit of guys coming in. Gonna be able to what do you do in the off season personally? Uh, just. I've been uh, just basically still rehabbing every day, trying to make sure I still have the strength, you know, to be able to, to go out and compete. The, that last uh, freshman class last year was so touted and so many of them played. Do you feel like, even though you're two years in, you feel like one of the old guys on the team because there's so many people in that class that play? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, they always joke and call me old man. <laughs> but uh, I kind of I feel like one of, definitely one of the older guys now. You mentioned just the strength. Is there any like specific aspects of your game that you've tried to work on to improve on for this year? Uh, yeah, I've tried to add some more, uh, some more, some more rush moves uh, to my my package. Going against Laramie every day, you know, yeah. some of that stuff kind of gets old. Because <laughs> <laughs> some of it's not going to work because his feet so good and he, he's so great. But you know, going against him every day will definitely help me become a better player because he's so talented. Are there any teams that uh, you didn't play last year that you're looking forward to getting a shot against this year? I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you mentioned having to watch games last year. Um, what, what did you learn from that? I mean, did, did you learn some things that make you a better player, that make you a better teammate, that kind of thing? Uh, I learned a lot of things that, uh, to make me a better teammate. Uh, I learned uh, to kind of get the tendencies for the way some of the guys play during the games and kind of how they react to certain situations. So, so like, like for instance, being out there with Rob, sometimes when they're pulling on him or, or a couple guys is on him, you know, he gets a little frustrated. So, so now knowing that, I can go out the next year, and if I see that same problem happening, I could be able to help him out. Is Laramie as good as you've gone, gone up against? Oh, no doubt. I, if I had to say, he's probably the best offensive tackle in the country. What is it about him that makes him so dominant? Only gave up one sack as a true freshman. Well, I mean, it's his feet. Uh, his feet are so great. Uh, his set. I mean, it's really, it's really hard to be the guy who's got really, really great feet. Uh, I think that uh, he's able to get out on you and cover you up so fast. Uh, some of those guys just don't have the speed to be able to get out.